Hi there, welcome to my video on setting up a LAMP stack using Linode. Uh, this is a cloud hosting uh, service. It's been branded as, it's been built for developers. Um, and we're going to use a LAMP stack, so that stands for uh, Linux, uh, Apache, uh, MySQL, and PHP. So PHP being the server side coding language, uh, MySQL being the um, database, uh, Apache being the engine, on the, and then Linux being the operating system. So I'm going to include all, uh, in the description a video to my DigitalOcean version of this uh, video, as well as my Amazon EC2 video. You should also look, I have screenshots and things like that for um, these videos, and you can just skip the video if you don't feel like uh, watching and you just want to do it by seeing. But I strongly encourage uh, subscribing, because um, just so I know that people are interested in it. So let's get started. So start by signing up or logging in to your Linode account. So this is how my account opened up. I don't actually have any Linode set up um, or any nodes set up. So it keeps redirecting me to add nodes. But you should be able to see a button that says add node. Um, as you can see, we have uh, multiple different sizes. So this is the server size that you'll be using and the cost it is per month. For me personally, I think the smallest works fine. Um, so this would be the standard instance, the 1024 the node here. And then you want to pick the location that's actually closest to you. Um, so for me, it's in New Jersey. And then, so you're going to use this. And um, the reason why you pick your closest location is just um, transfer size. I'm assuming your user base is actually uh, near you. But the, you can set this up so it routes to different servers and stuff. But that will happen. Uh, I could potentially explain that in a later video. But for now, just select the... Um, lowest standard and the closest location, add this little node. So now what you'll see is the um, status of your uh, server being set up. So here it is. Um, I will be deleting the server afterwards. But um, yeah, so mine's currently being created. I'm pretty sure if I reload this, um, it tells me it's brand new. And so here's my IP. And so it says that it's all set up. Um, Really brand new. So I want to deploy an image here. So I'm going to go go to deploy an image. So I'm on dash, dashboard, deploy an image. Uh, my image, I'm going to use a, the Ubuntu uh, 16 server. And with this, it's I'm going to use the 16.04 LTS. Um, I'll leave that as what it is and then root password I'm going to decide on a password you want to make this really really secure um, so I'm just going to think of something uh, okay so now it's all set up and so now it's going to go through the process of cre actually creating the image and setting that all up So mine's all set up. Um, as you can see on the side, your server status is currently powered off. So what you want to do is just hit the boot button on the left. And it'll start up. So it's now running. Um, so you can act we can actually now log into our server. So what we're going to use is a, well, exactly this SSH access and using our root access. So you'll we'll need something called the terminal mines in actually my doc, but you can just type in um, terminal. It'll open up an instance of the terminal. And so, or you can just press this, that works as well. Um, if you're on a Windows machine, you can use PuTTY. Um, so just go and download that. So I just type in SSH root and it gives me this big long um, authentication. I just say yeah, type in yes. I can zoom in here. Type in my password that it won't show up, but I've actually typed it in. Okay, so now that this is all set up, um, my next step is to start beginning to install things. So first thing I'm going to install is app.get.update, which updates the server. Okay, I'm going to 
clear that. So ran this command to update the server to the newest things. First thing I'm going to install in my LAMP stack is we already have the Linux set up. It's the Ubuntu Linux uh, image. So we have to install the Apache now. So sudo means uh, using a root access. So I am root, so it shouldn't need the sudo, but might as well put it. And I'm going to install Apache 2, which is um, the newer version of Apache. And it says, do you want to continue? Press Y or N. Y meaning yes. Okay, and I'm going to clear that. Now we want to verify our um, verify our installation of Apache. So I'm type in Apache to CTL config test, and you should get an output of syntax. Okay. So now let's restart our Apache. Restart. We're just going to keep checking things um, just to verify that everything works. So now, when, since I've got a response back, to, I can again type in something I know I, I, it's restarted. So I'm typing sudo ufw app list. And those are all the correct things that we're supposed to get back. So Apache is now all installed. Now we're going to install the MySQL portion. So, portion, so uh, sudo app get install MySQL server. And I'm going to say yes. Now it's going to ask me for password. Uh, make this secure as well. Make sure you're writing down your passwords as well. Um, nothing's worse than forgetting a password. <laughs> okay, so that's all set up. Um, so MySQL is now installed. Now we have to install PHP. So we're going to do sudo app get install php lib apache2 mod php php so these are all separate libraries so we can actually do these individually so we can say sudo install php and continue that so as you can see it's um, in the command so it's installing php7 and clear. So we ran this command. Now we're going to run lib apache to mod php. Enter. And that's done. I'm just hitting up to get my previous commands. Um, and so now we're going to run php my Encrypt. And sorry, I want to press yes. And that's all set up. And the last one, I'm going to hit up again, is PHP MySQL. These are all libraries that we need to use with our PHP. Okay. So um, if we jump back over to our IP address, you can see the public IP is the same one as we logged in here. 4533. For me, it's 4533661851. If I open that up, I should get the beginning um, Apache Ubuntu website. Now, we can actually change this. So I'm currently in, I was in the um, one of these folders, I think it was home. Yeah. That's what, anyways, all I did was type in cd dot dot to go back up the folder, and I have all these. Our files, our information for uh, our, our files exist in cd var www html, and you can see this index file. And if I do, it spits all this into uh, all this um, HTML stuff. And I can just remove this file, and then I'm going to create the file again. And so um, this is, um, so I'm going to hit I and type in hello world. And then I'm going to hit escape um, colon WQ and enter, which will save the file. And if I do ls, you can see the file is now there. 
Now if I go back to my web page here and I hold Command Shift R, it's now changed to Hello World. So in the next video, um, I'll show you how to add Git uh, to your server so you can just um, push and pull via a Git server, uh, a Git repo, and it actually makes things easier so you can work on your local machine and then uh, just push, push and uh, pull back from files. I'm also going to show you in the next video how to set up um, an actual custom domain.